I'm Jessica Templeton and I am the Education Manager for the James River Association. My name is Kyle Burnett and I am with the James River Association. We are at the James River Ecology School on Presque Isle National Wildlife Refuge and we are with a group of middle school students from the city of Richmond learning about the James River and our wildlife refuge systems and what role we play within the environment. I am Micah and I go to All Saints Catholic School. We tested water levels to see if the water was good or not. That's how far deep you can see the water. Exactly, exactly. So that's telling us we can see 17 centimeters into the water column. Um, it's not that deep. That's exactly right. We found out that the water levels, they were pretty dirty and that we can only see 17 centimeters into the water. My name is Jacob. We tested to see how good the water was in the James River. My name is Carlos. We tested the water quality and getting the temperature, nitrogen, dissolved oxygen. That gives us a really good indicator of kind of how healthy the James is. And it turned out that the water quality gray thing was like a C. For us it would be like 70 something, but for them it's more like a 50. It wasn't good. It was decent. How many fish do you think we're going to catch? 15! Right. We also got to do otter trawling. We threw a net out to catch some fish. That net opens up like basically a big pillowcase and we scoop up some of the life that we find in the water. Oh! And we caught a fish, named them Jimmy. Isn't he beautiful? Mm -hmm. Everyone in the Richmond area, we have to survive off of that water. We drink that water, so we have to make sure it's well enough for, so we can use it. We're hoping to bring students outside, show them that there's so many great things to do. You help to learn about the area that you're in, but you're also learning about yourself. We challenge them to think about their role within the environment, not separate from it, and really be able to think about what they can do to protect the James by conserving water, conserving energy, taking action, even like picking up their trash from the day, so that hopefully they can go out into the world as stewards for the James River here today as well as in the future.